hold the Guinness World Record for surviving the highest fall without a parachute. My name is Vesna Vulovic and this is my miraculous survival story. I was born on January 3, 1950 to a businessman father and fitness-oriented mother. Inspired by a friend's flight attendant uniform, I pursued a career as a Serbian flight attendant to fulfill my dream of moving to London. I wasn't originally scheduled to be on flight 367, but decided to join the crew anyway because I was excited to visit Denmark for the first time. We had plenty of time to shop for souvenirs for our families. Looking back now, it felt like they somehow knew they were about to die. Upon boarding the plane at Copenhagen Airport at 2.30 p.m., we noticed a man who appeared agitated. Looking back, I believed it was the man who put the bomb in the baggage. The explosion occurred almost an hour after takeoff, causing the aircraft to break apart. I was the sole survivor out of the 28 passengers and crew. Air safety investigators believed that I survived the 33,330-foot fall without a parachute because I became trapped in the fuselage by a food cart. My doctors concluded that my history of low blood pressure caused me to lose consciousness quickly after the cabin depressurized, which prevented my heart from bursting upon impact. I spent several months in the hospital and was in a coma. My skull was fractured, three vertebrae were broken, along with my ribs, legs, and pelvis. I was temporarily paralyzed from the waist down. I recovered but was limped for the rest of my life. I had amnesia and had no recollection of the explosion, so I wasn't afraid of airplanes or flying again after the crash. I wanted to resume working as a flight attendant, but wasn't allowed to because they feared that I might attract too much publicity after becoming a celebrity for I was viewed as a national hero. In the early 1990s, I joined anti-government protests during the breakup of Yugoslavia and was fired from JAT Airways, but wasn't arrested because the government was concerned about the negative publicity that my imprisonment would bring. I continued working as a pro-democracy activist and later campaigned on behalf of the Democratic Party, advocating for Serbia's entry into the European Union which I believed would bring economic prosperity. I struggled with survivor guilt and lived in seclusion in my final years. I declined numerous requests, including those from Oprah Winfrey and the BBC. My health began to deteriorate when I turned 60, and I eventually died in 2016.